Hello, this screencast is going to show you how to organize your data in a Google spreadsheet, download it, and import it into Fathom in order to perform data analysis and create graphs. Uh, the thing you should know is that your spreadsheet has to be organized in just the right way for Fathom to recognize it. And the way you organize your data is you have to think about your columns, and then you have to think about your rows. So in my science fair data, uh, my experiment, what I did is I had nine plants, and I gave three plants 10 milliliters of water, another three 20 milliliters of water, and another three plants 30 milliliters of water. So to start off, uh, let's talk about the columns. The columns represent your variables. Um, in particular, one column is going to be dedicated for your independent variable, so what you manipulated. In my case, it was the amount of water. Another is for your dependent variable. And in fact, you know, in this experiment, I actually have two dependent variables, so I have two columns. And then you have to understand that each row is what we call a case. And in this particular experiment, each case was a different plant. So you can see I have named my plants. I've labeled them. You might have numbered your plants uh, uh, or labeled them by uh, a, a letter or given them a name. And so I actually have one column dedicated for the name of each plant and so my plants are named A, B, C all the way through I. And so each row has all the information for one particular plant or one particular case. So as I go across my row column by column I can see that for that plant I gave it 10 milliliters of water it grew to 56 centimeters and it grew three leaves. Excuse me. Um, so it's very important that each column is a variable and each row is a case or a test subject, um, in this case a different plant. Um, so the uh, next step um, is to save your download your data. Um, so you can go to File and go to Download as a CSV file, and you have to know where it's saved. Um, I'm gonna open Fathom, <clears throat> go to File, go to Import, and you say Import from File, and you have to know where your data is saved. My happens to be saved on the spreadsheet. Uh, on the desktop, excuse me, and here's my data, and I make sure it's highlighted, then I click on table, drag it over, and notice that this table mirrors my spreadsheet in the same, basically the same format. And then, of course, I can, you know, create my graphs, you know, click on my, my variables, so my independent variable will go on my x-axis, and I could click on my dependent, one of my dependent variables, drag it over to the y-axis, and I have a nice scatter plot here. And of course, I could, you know, uh, perform my statistical analysis um, tests, in which I, I have uh, different videos showing um, how, to, how to do those things. Thank you.